Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can download and install Xcode command line tool for your MacBook and this command line tool contains the compiler for your C program so that you can compile and execute your C program in your MacBook. So this Xcode command line tool is necessary for compilation and execution of your C program. So let's go ahead and do the needful to download and install Xcode command line tool. For that, go to launcher, find the terminal icon. If that is not there, just type terminal in your search box. You'll get the terminal icon. Now this is the terminal window. Let me increase the font size. Okay. So in terminal window, type GCC. GCC is the command that we use to compile a C source file. If the GCC is available now in your MacBook, then obviously it's going to give you some option. It will respond to your command. If the GCC is not available with your MacBook, then Mac is going to ask your option whether you would like to install this command line tool or not. Let's go ahead and press enter. You see that the pop-up comes and it is saying that GCC command requires the command line developer tools. Would you like to install the tools now? Now there are three buttons. If you don't want to install just click on not now. That's obvious. If you want to install the command line tool click on install and there is another option get Xcode. Now Xcode is a complete IDE interactive development tool for the developers where from within which you can develop your C program, execute your C program and also you can uh, compile and execute Objective-C as well. So it's a complete environment that is available in the App Store as well. You can download and install this uh, this Xcode free in your MacBook. So if you want that just go ahead and click on Get Xcode. Throughout this tutorial I will be using NetBeans IDE for writing my programs and for compilation and execution. So I will encourage you to install NetBeans. In the other tutorial, I will show you how to install NetBeans in your MacBook or uh, Windows. Uh, there is another ID that is preferable for the startup programmers and that is co CodeBlocks. CodeBlocks is easy to use for the startup programmers. So if you are not comfortable with complex IDEs, you want a simple one, then I will encourage you to download code blocks. I will show you how to download and install code blocks and how to use code blocks in another tutorial as well. So here we need to install only the Xcode command line tool for our Mac. So click on install button. It's asking whether I'm agreed with the conditions or not. I have already read that. Okay, I click on agree. And now it's downloading the software so it is saying that the software was installed now I'm clicking on done now I'm typing GCC and pressing enter you see that it's giving the response it's saying that C lang error no input files so GCC is asking for the input files that means it has been installed there so that is how you can download and install Xcode command line tools in your system, in your MacBook. And do that prior installing code blocks or NetBeans, whatever you wish to use as your interactive development environment. Or you may choose a simple notepad for writing your C program as well. Thank you.